Hello students hope you are all well in today's class we are we are learning butterfly of class 3 in our previous class we have already learned from page number 1 to page number 3 okay in page number 3 was uh, not complete in page number 3 we are doing today we are doing activity 5 of page number 3 okay open this page and uh, look there are some words are missing in this picture story there is a small picture story and some words are missing in this picture story okay let's use words from the help box and complete the story okay there is a small help box you can see okay at the corner of the page you can see a small help box some words are there we have to choose those words and pro uh, we have to write the proper words in the proper blank spaces okay we are starting the dash went for a walk she saw a big dash dash fell heavily that fell uh, dash fell heavily oh. heavily but she had but she had an dash mm. now we are going to put the words into the <coughs> space bin into the space blank spaces okay first the dash is went for a uh, dash went for a walk there is a picture of a girl okay in the help box we can find the word girl so first in the first space we are writing girl the girl went for a walk she saw a big what is this this is a picture of cloud cloud she saw a big cloud dash fell heavily rain rain fell heavily but she had an this is a picture of an umbrella So this is a nice picture story. Next move on to page number 4, activity 6. Activity 6. Okay. In activity 6 we can see this is a picture of our home okay of our room maybe it our room this is a picture of a room inside of a room and uh, <coughs> below this picture we can see there is a matching table okay there are two columns column a and color column b okay we have to arrange them and make proper sentences okay according to the picture we can see the picture and make proper sentences okay so uh, making the columns column a and column b okay in column a first one is there is a cat there is a cat number two there is a table Okay, number three there are books number three number four there is a fan mm. 
Number five, there is a calendar. Number five, number six, there is a chair. Okay. On the other side, we are writing hanging from the ceiling. Hanging from Ceiling. Next one is on the table. On the table. Next one is beside the table. Beside the table. Hanging on the wall. Next one is at the corner of the room. of the room under the bed the last one is under the bed under the bed now let's arrange arrange the sentences okay there is a let's match the sentences there is a cat where is the cat in the picture we can see the cat is sleeping under the bed under the bed yes under the bed match there is a cat under the bed. Mm, there is a table. Where is the table? At the corner of the room. You can see. There is a table at the corner of the room. Number three, there are books. Where are the books? The books are on the table. On the table. The books are on the table. Okay. There is a fan. Where is the fan? The fan is hanging from the ceiling. The fan is hanging from the ceiling. Okay. The next one is uh, there is a fan. There is a calendar. The calendar is where is the calendar? The calendar is hanging on the wall. The calendar is hanging on the wall. What is hanging on the wall? Yes. Mm. Next one is there is a chair. There is a chair beside the table. Okay. Now we have the sentences. There is a cat. There is a cat under the bed. There is a table at the corner of the room. Number three, there are books on the table. Number four, there is a fan hanging from the ceiling. Number five, there is a calendar hanging on the wall. And number six is there is a chair beside the table. So activity six is done. Achha. Move on to page number 5. Look at the picture on page number 4 and complete the following sentences. Okay. Some more sentences are there. Number B. One. There is a curtain. What is the curtain? The curtain is on the window. On the window. There are some pillows. Where are the pillows? The pillows are on the bed. 
so number two there are some pillows on the bed there are some pillows on the bed number three dash on the backrest of the chair find out what is on the backrest of the chair there is a shirt okay there is a shirt on the backrest of the chair so number three is there is a shirt on the backrest so there is a chair shirt on the backrest of the chair number 4 number 4 is dash on the mat what is on the mat the cat is the cat is on the mat or there is a cat on the mat there is a cat on the mat okay next let's tell all the class and uh, let's tell the class what we can see in the classroom you may begin like this there is a blackboard inside the class what we can see around us there is a blackboard okay we in our class we can see there is a blackboard there are chalks dusters table chair benches teacher student and uh, beside teacher student we can see our books our copies our bags water bottles so these are the things we can see around us inside our classroom next we are moving on to uh, activity 7 in activity 7 let's fill in the blanks with okay we have to fill in the blanks with am or is or are we use am with i we use are with plural numbers like we are you are they are and we use is with he she or it that means with third person singular number okay now we fill in the now let us fill in the blanks write down i dash moon i dash moon i dash a girl oh roman is also uh, and dash my brother Okay, now we are going to put put am is are. I dash mo. We use am with I. I am mo. I 
am a girl roman that means it is the name of a boy roman is roman is my brother ria is name of a girl ria is my sister and they for plural number we use beside they we use are they are elder to me okay next we are going to solve activity 8 activity 8 we have to let's fill the banks with uh, by using this and these other oh acha acha okay we are going to use this and these t h i s this we use this <coughs> to um uh, to point out one thing a singular thing to point out a singular thing we use this okay and to describe many things that means more than one things we use these okay now number 1 we can see this is a picture of one cat so this is a cat this is a cat and dash are dogs dash are dogs one two three three dogs are there so uh, there are more than one dog so we will use these are dogs this is a cat these are dogs next we can see this is a flower right so we are writing this is a flower and dash are leaves leaves are 1 2 3 4 5 five leaves are there so these are leaves more than one these are these are leaves next page number 3 1 2 birds are more than one so we will write these are birds okay we can complete for it these are birds and this is what a fly number 5 number 4 number 4 these are ants and this is a butterfly right we use is with these this is and these are was owl number 3 it was owl this is uh, owl this is a uh, butterfly sorry sorry for the mistake number 5 number 5 we have got children some children 1 2 3 4 children are there so these uh children these are children and this is an old man is an old man So that's all for today. Take care. Bye.